Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt with 1836 Property Management in Austin, Texas. Thanks for joining us today. This is one of our weekly updates, and for this week, we're going to cover the change in the market as well as fire extinguishers. So uh, January and February, as you may have known, in 2017 for Austin were very slow. While we, while we always have a cyclical market, uh, summer being peak, winter being slower, this January and February were extremely slow. We're happy to say that March has picked up very well. We're seeing some traffic in our listings as well as our uh, applicants and uh, tenants that are coming across our desk. Uh, we're still screening those well. Actually, one out of every four, if not one out of every three applications ends up getting turned down because of something that was not prior disclosed, uh, which is our job to find out those issues before they become your tenants. Uh, so happy to say the traffic is picking back up. The other thing we want to go over with you is fire extinguishers. Oddly enough, years ago, uh, the Texas property code was interpreted to say that fire extinguishers must be checked twice a year by an independent certified company if they were left in properties. Well, that code has been reinterpreted over the years. And so uh, the latest version is, is that unless it is a multifamily, any single family residential property should now have a fire extinguisher. Now, while there is some language in the code still to that effect, it doesn't say exactly now that it has to be an independent third party or that they have to be licensed. It just says that someone has to check it. So in other words, if we went by once a year and just saw that it was in the green zone, it wasn't expired and everything looked good, that would be sufficient. Those things generally last between five and 10 years. They only cost about 40 to 50 bucks to have installed, uh, depending on who does it. And so uh, honestly, there are really good cost-effective way of ensuring your property stays safe. Uh, the other thing we found out is that codes don't always match. And so while the state code may have said one thing, insurance codes may have said another. So your insurance policy for your home may actually have a clause in it that says if you do not have a fire extinguisher, they may not pay on the policy. So um, as those evolved, as we got further information, we made a quick decision this year to go ahead and put out fire extinguishers into all of our properties. Uh, the multi already had them and those are being inspected, but in all the single family residences during our spring report. So this saved a trip to the property, which saves you guys money. And uh, we could also verify that those were in good working condition. We put brand new ones in the, every property that we had. Uh, it was quite interesting, the uh, pallet of fire extinguishers that they delivered to the curbside for us. And uh, Bank of America thought it was so strange they cut off our credit card until we could verify that we actually intended to buy that many fire extinguishers. But uh, we've got those being deployed right now to every residence that we have. Um, happily, those will be documented and marked down on the placards that we use under the kitchen sinks, which are a real interesting thing we use here at 1836 to document any trips to the property, any inspections, things like that. Um, and so your properties will hopefully be a little bit safer because of it. Those should last about, again, five to 10 years, depending upon the fire extinguisher. So uh, given the cost of 40 or $50 each, that's only about five bucks a year, really good way to invest your money. Uh, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the weekly update. If we can do anything for you here regarding your Austin real estate investment properties, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1836. Thanks.